Welcome to 5 Minute Food Review. I'm your host Joe and it's almost Valentine's Day and the candy companies have released their Valentine's Day flavors. Well, we got to give those a try, see if they're worth it, and we're going to work on a Valentine's Day DIY gift. A gift you make means a whole lot more than a card, flowers, or anything you can buy in a store. That's just how I feel and that's my opinion. Anyways, let's get this show on the road. Now that we have all our stuff here, just to go over some of the DIY stuff, one of the things you'll need is a glue gun and glue. So if you don't have a glue gun, uh, go down to your local hobby uh, or craft store or hobby craft store. Uh, I went to Michael's and I got everything I needed at Michael's. I already had the uh, glue gun, but I got some lights. You have to get uh, some of the styrofoams that you can stick sticks in to keep them in place. And of course, I got some candy bars because we're making a candy bar bouquet. That's right, a candy bar bouquet. So the wife likes Hershey. She likes Kit Kats. She likes Reese's and her favorite peanut M&Ms. So let's toss those to the side. Oh, and a Snickers because you're never yourself when you're hungry. Uh, some of the items I got to decorate with the candy bar. I got these little uh, cloth already made roses. Uh, they're fairly inexpensive. These are only a buck ninety nine. Uh, they got a little heart pick. I guess it's called. <laughs> That's what it says on the on the tag. It says pick. Uh, those are a buck ninety nine. Uh, you got the sticks. You want to get these sticks. Uh, you might want to look around the store for them. Uh, what we'll do is we'll take the candy bar, stick it on the stick, and we're going to glue it. Hopefully it stays. I've seen it done before. And of course I got another heart here with a stick. X's and O. Hugs and kisses. And there's this little bouquet that you can get. It's all tied up. It's, it's not real. So, But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this part off. And I'm going to use these as individuals and stick them inside the foam to decorate with the candy. And of course, I got a Planet Pottery or a Pottery Pot. This one's black. It's blackboard chalk. So you can write on this with the chalk, which is great. You can leave a nice little message, you know, Happy Valentine's Day. Be my Valentine's. I love you. Uh, don't forget in March is, uh, well... There's a special day in March. We'll just keep it family oriented here today. Let's get this project rolling. We're starting with the, the first step, which might be many steps of the DIY. You get your little stick like this, and uh, if you got a glue gun, you can catch a glue gun, and you take one of your chocolate bars, and you gotta make sure the glue gun's nice and hot so the glue comes out and just kind of layer some of that glue on the back of the candy bar package. You probably don't need a lot, you probably don't need a lot, but you want to put enough on there that your stick will stick on there. I'm going to put a little pressure. Now there's my first one. Oh, look at that. Try glue everywhere. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, there's the first one. That's the first step. Good old Snickers bar. Everybody loves a Snicker. But you know what? If I go to the next one, I have gotten these uh, new flavored M&Ms for the Valentine's Day holiday. And these are the uh, white chocolate cheesecake. And it looks like they come in three colors, uh, pastel-like colors. There's a kind of a pinkish color, a beige, of course white. Could almost uh, keep these, hold these over till Thanksgiving. Of Thanksgiving? Did I say Thanksgiving? 
I'm at Easter. Thanksgiving. I'm, I'm trying to get way far ahead. But let's give them a try. No. Just tastes like a little white chocolate inside. That's it. That's all it is. White chocolate. I'm special about it. You know what? Hey, Joey! Okay, I'll I'll I want to see what Joey thinks of this. Come here. Try that, please. Well, Joey likes it. He's really enjoying it. You like that? Thumbs up. All right. Well, uh... Okay. Bye. Bye. Well, he likes it. I don't care for it. It's, it really don't taste like cheesecake. Maybe a little, but not a whole lot. Uh, it just tastes more like white chocolate. I like white chocolate. It's okay, but for those, pass on them. Not worth it. Well, for our next part, we're gonna use a pottery plant. We have our styrofoam. I have a few pieces that I got here. Uh, they do come in different sizes and shapes. Uh, sometimes you can probably get a really large one, but they can get a little pricey. So I bought a few inexpensive ones that I can probably shape and put right into here because once you got these, you stick them right into there. Pretty simple, right? We'll see, <laughs> we'll see. Um, let's get these open. One of the things I have to do is that and with this diameter of the foam and this is a little bigger. You can probably see, I don't know if you can see that, but it is a little bigger, so I'm gonna have to cut it so it'll fit in there nice and stuff. This is the Hershey strawberry cream. That's what this one is. Wow, so, so tasty. They're, they're little heart-shaped candies with strawberry cream in the I middle. Take one. I will hand you one. There we go. He likes that one, the strawberry cream. cream. Let Daddy give this a try. Yummy. I like this bag. Mm. I like this bag. Okay. Oh, it's it's strawberry. It's got a scent of strawberry to it, but it's okay. It's not real strong, real flavor. It's flavorful for what <clears throat> what it is. Uh, strawberry and cream. It gives you that strawberry. It's not like it's real strawberries. That artificial flavor. I but like that strawberry. You like the strawberries, huh? Also, another tool of the trade is a marker. We're going to take this, we're going to turn it upside down, try to line it up to where I can make a mark around it and just cut around that line. All right, there we go. I have the little black mark. I don't well, know. it's coming along. Almost there. going to have to go around it one more time. Well, we got another one. Kit Kat is doing a raspberry and cream flavor. It smells pretty tasty. I don't know, look, a little package right there. Mm, There's the Kit Kat. Just regular Kit Kat with the uh, uh, reddish color coating, which is brought cho white chocolate with a, uh, white chocolate with the red dye in it or something, Wait. raspberry flavor. Where's your another half? Because it's just sitting there. That's why there's another half. Maybe mommy might want to try it. Ah. What did you think? Did you like it? Now, Kit Kat's is mommy's favorite. One of mommy's favorite candy bars. I give that thumbs up. All right, thumbs up. Thank you very much, sir. I'm trying your face off the camera. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What am I playing? No. Wait, what is... I'll give this one to mommy. That's not bad. That... That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's got that raspberry taste to it. 
has a nice scent to it. Gives you that uh, Valentine's Day feel. Yes, it does. All right, well, we got our circle. Fits perfectly right inside. Look at that, that is perfect. Now, make sure we get that back out. Don't get that stuck in there. Um, I'm gonna take this piece here, it's this nice big circle. It fits almost perfectly right down in here. Just give it a little, oh, let me try to get in there. Oh. Let's see here. Here we go. Um, we have the round piece here, and we hmm, might be able to just go that way and shove that in there as far as we can. Bam! So when this goes through, it also goes through the green one, which hopefully it makes it a little sturdier. And you know what? I forgot to turn the light on. Hey, there I am. I'm no longer in the dark. Ah, but now we take our candy that we have and we just kind of figure out where we're going to want these placed. You just kind of push them in and then you'll fill the bottom piece and bam, there you go. See, so far so good. And there we go. You can also put them, you don't have to put them straight in, you can put them in at an angle too. There we go. All right, look at that. So far, so good. This is starting to look halfway decent. All right, now we have our candy in. Hershey Kisses has a melt way, melt way uh, one, and thumbs up. Can you? Can, no, no, this one's mine. I wanna feed you. Are you gonna feed me? Okay, please feed me. I, you didn't try not, that one yet. I'm not really, really liking that one. The uh, Hershey Kisses uh, Meltway, it's okay. I, not worth, it's not worth the money to pay for a bag. It, they gave but me like a little there's two for sample mommy. or something to try. Two for mommy. Two for mommy. Well, mommy's not in here. Well. Well, I don't know. But there's another Hershey Kisses <gasps> called Lava Cake. Um, here we go, Joey. But we've had lava cake, you know what it's like. Yeah. Three pieces for mommy. No. I'm gonna throw this one in the trash. I'll be right back. All right, I made some more candy on a stick. Now I took some of the miniature ones just to add a little bit more to it. Here we go. That one's a Kit Kat. I got a Hershey one just to really make it pop. Just to make it look like, wow, there's a lot there. Hopefully it stands out. Maybe kind of Try to hide some of them, or not necessarily hide, but put somewhere it's like, oh wow, look, there's little bitty, bitty miniature ones. And also, Reese's peanut butter cups. Just because I know I'm gonna sneak one of those once in a while.
oops, that just don't seem to fit in there. Well, we do got a lot going on. We do got a lot going on here. One's giving me trouble, and I really can't get my fingers in there now. So much going on. All right, time for action. All right. Hey, uh, whatever you do, don't try this at home. There we go. Got it in there. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that actually is not too bad looking. I got one more thing that I got. We got lights. <laughs> Battery operated lights. Let's check these out. Check these out. And I'm just gonna kind of wrap them around in here. Just to add a little flair, I guess. I'm still here. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna try to stick it right here in the back where it's kind of easy access to the on and off switch. There we go. We have a candy bouquet with some uh, flowers and uh, more candy. That is not too bad. Now, ones like this can cost you upwards to 50 bucks at a store, maybe even more. There are some that are pretty basic where they just got a box. They stick those sticks with the candies, uh, regular size candy bars on them and it can be 20 bucks. But this one, uh, after all said and done, runs, ran me about $45 for everything, including the candy. If you like it, uh, let me know down in the comments below. But uh, hey, uh, this has been fun. <laughs> Maybe we'll do another one for Easter. Uh, do a uh, basket, something like that. <laughs> so, oh. Let's see what it looks like lit up. Well, there's the lights. You know what? Where's my light switch for the light? There we go. I hope you can see those lights. They are kind of lit up. Hold on, let me try this one right here. Wrong switch. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Man. It, all, it is all lit up. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. This has been fun. Oh, wait a minute, Joey. Look. What do you think? Pretty. Hey, he gives a thumbs up. Look at the pretty m and He's got some M&M's, Reese's, some Hershey's, and Kit Kats. Mm -hmm. Looks nice, huh? Mm -hmm. And that's for Mommy. Oh, after he's oh, done. Yeah, we're all done. Well, hey, uh, again, I hope you like what you saw. Uh, hit like, share, comment. I like that beautiful rose. Oh, thank you. No, I like that beautiful rose. And, uh, I like that beautiful rose. Hit the bell for updates. Thanks for watching. See you on the next episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.